Right, I'm just off to the allotment and to the town. Like everybody, if you have a day off, everything's in one. Um, go and have a quick look. If I've got chance, try and plant some roots, um, sow some root vegetables that I haven't managed to germinate previously. Let's see. Let's see how good it is. Right, scissors, twat, <coughs> pots. Hopefully they'll be big enough. Um, I'm off to the allotment. Twine, because my beans are so behind and might need time in. That's if I'm lucky enough that they've grown. And hopefully there's some black carrots and gogs, etc. to pick. Good morning, it's the 14th of July. Visit to my allotment, see how it's doing. As you know, it's been a really bad year for any root veg. But, hey ho, I left all the nasturtiums to pollinate the path, um, colonate the path because we hadn't worked out what to do with it. Have to string the grass at some point. But at least it looks pretty. So, wildflower garden is coming along. A lot of gaps though. Um, under this road potato is a climbing squash, hopefully, to go up and over. As you can see, the Brassica Tunnel, I've got to investigate because there are some holes in the leaf. So I need to see what's in there, whether it's slug that's come up through the ground. Um, and I've got to have a good sort out of that and transfer some of my Brassicas from my garden. Finally, finally, look, the beans are working their way up the teepee. That's the biggest amount of growth I've seen in, well, weeks and weeks. I'm going to pick the beans. And I'm going to leave them in for a little while, so some of the is it nitrogen in the nodules go back into the soil. I'm going to dig up, actually I don't know even know if I've got a spade, might have to dig up some of our potatoes this evening. This is going to be where all the leeks are. Outdoor tomatoes have survived so far. Quite stunted, but that doesn't matter. And the squashes are unfortunately being overtaken by this potato in the compost heap. But hey ho, let's just pull that up. There we go. Squashes are growing in the compost heap. I've got loads of soft fruit to pick. This is the one bit we didn't cultivate after swapping our allotments so we could make two into one. Um, and as you can see, radishes have gone to seed. So this morning I've got to just concentrate on clearing somewhat, picking a lettuce. Um, and then, um, then I'm going to concentrate on doing a late sowing of root veg again, I think either tonight or at the weekend. See, we've got measly couple of <laughs> beetroot and I think one carrot. But on, in answer to everybody else, when I put it on, they said they'd have the same problem. And I'm going to do a bit of weeding, so just a bit of tidying up, ready for when we want to try this other sowing. Unfortunately, like a lot of people, we haven't got here on time because the days that we've been off, it's been raining. And look what I've got to pick. Mm -mm -mm. Black currant. I might have to try a go at making some Ribena. Black currant cordial. So I'm going to have a good tidy up. Um, tie in things if I need to. And just see where we are and see if we can get some late sowings. Right, my gamble paid off. We inherited this batch of fruit um, and I left it, didn't um, prune it 
only things that going over the path because I thought it was summer raspberries um, because it was the wrong time to prune summer roses and it's worked well. So I'm going to pick them and see what I end up with. Right, amongst the raspberries we found a goosegog tree. Tree? Bush. There we go. Can you see them? Um, here. There we go. And I'm armed with gloves to pick these because look at the size of those thorns. Look. Okay, so let's see what I get. Right, I'm going to do the black currants. These are, this is from the outside looking in of my currant bush. Also got some at home to do. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Okay, let, I'll pick them and show you how many I've got. Well, I've been complaining about the root crops, just like everybody this year, but you know, this brings it into perspective. We can't have it all. We need to look after Mother Nature. And when we do, we usually get something. So there's tatties, red lettuce, loads of peas, two different varieties, Prince Albert and I can't remember the other one. Broad brings, Loganberries, raspberries, gooseberries and black currants. So so hey ho. Perhaps I shouldn't complain. This is what nature does for you if you look after it. So we might be the custodians of a tiny plot of land but we can make sure we treat that land with respect, treat it kindly. And if we're lucky, some of the bounty is returned. So, I came here with the hope of doing some hoeing. I've got errands to run later, so I don't know whether I'm actually gonna do some hoeing. I might have to come back tonight. I'll have a quick bash and I'll catch up with you soon. I hope you're enjoying the wonderful Belden tea nature provides. It may not be a great year, but this miracle of nature is beautiful anyway. So enjoy it guys. Sit back, sit in your garden, have a pint of beer, enjoy the labours, hours labour you put into your garden, but also be thankful that we get this fabulous bounty from Mother Nature and I'm just proud I'm a custodian of a tiny plot of land. Well hello it's Farmer Farmer here and I, I know we're not only talking about plants and I know quite a lot about plants and I, I probably thought I'd ever go with animals. So we have a little bit of skip through the different sorts of animals that I know about. Anyway, most of them got four legs, which are helpful. But they don't like plants because they move. And they run around. So they're more difficult to control. Anyway, well first of all we have these things here. Uh, sheep, I think they're called. Anyway, they're mainly white and fluffy. Uh, but except they're not always white. And they're not always fluffy. Anyway, if you get enough of them together, you can make a river. Well, that's quite helpful and they, they, they run along a bit look see and because they're white and fluffy they bounce off each other and don't get hurt so that's all right anyway every so often what you gotta do is you have to take the fluff off and you have you, you do that you cut it off and then they're called shorn and they look like this well no like this anyway over here we got some bigger sheep no no they're called cows uh, and they've got four legs and all uh, they come in different colours uh, all sorts of colours they're black and white there and brown and white and, and, and yeah anyway they're quite friendly uh, uh, yes and they're quite friendly and then occasionally you get purple ones yeah I know you don't see them very often but anyway, up to you do and 
And anyway, what happens is, I've got, I've got another animal, and they look a bit like cows, uh, and they're the same colour as cows, uh, but they're not, they're horses. But they're, they're a bit bigger, uh, they're a bit faster, and they've got long faces. I don't know why they've got long faces, but they have. Anyway, and you can ride these, uh, you sit on them, and you wander about, and, they, and that's quite helpful, so you can get around. Uh, anyway, you get the old show-offs, you get the red ones, like Ginger Garden, and sort of show-off, and they're trying to look beautiful all the time. And then, see, unfortunately, you get it's difficult because you get some of these horses and they look like cows, which is a bit of a problem. Anyway, let me carry on. They're talking about horses here. And oh, look, see the cows in the back, see they're friendly, aren't they? Anyway, we've got three times of horses here and they're looking a bit menacing. I think they might be ganging up. So, well, yeah, I think I might be off for a ride round or a run away. I don't know. Anyway, I, I, that's, that's all for now. I'll, I'll see you soon. Um, I'm talking about plants soon. I think I know a bit more about them. It's a bit safer.